What's going on YouTube? 50 Cheddar Bob back with another break. Today I'll be breaking a box of the new 2019 Panini Black Football. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you knew that 2013 Panini Black, which is the last year they've made it, was one of, if not my favorite product. Uh, unfortunately, um, it's not a very good draft class, so uh, buying that now is kind of, to be quite honest with you, kind of a waste of money. But they brought back Panini Black for 2019. They changed it up quite a bit. So I I, I guess I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself until I open it up. But there's only five cards now as opposed to, I want to say there was at least 10 in the 2013 stuff. I don't remember off the top of my head. But um, we should get a patch auto, another auto, a patch card, and then two base cards if I remember correctly out of this so um, there should be two autos so we'll see what we get here this was an online only release and was a hundred bucks I see people reselling them for much more than that but this cost $100 from Panini's website which is where I picked it up I finally got it today after I ordered it quite a while ago um, but it's here let's get into it and seeing some fire pull out of this stuff and if I read the checklist correctly, there is only a couple 101s for each you know, player, including just one RPA 101. And one of the break groups I was in happened to pull the Kyler Murray of that variation and also the Nick Bosa of that variation. So those two are off the board. All right, let's see if I can do this correctly. However, there are some nice vet 101s and some other nice cards, obviously. All right, who, what should we do here? Let's do this. I'm gonna grab my filler card here and throw that on top. Okay, so we got a Cam Newton, numbered 73 out of 75, and this is just the base card. So my initial thoughts, nice thick stock, uh, quite a bit shinier than the stuff in 2013, a little bit of foil on there, so not terrible. All right, and on the back here, number 235, got a Bradley Chubb. And I'm not sure what parallel that is. It's hard to tell, but that is 12 out of 35, so a nice short print there. Alrighty. Um, okay. okay, there we go. First autograph is going to be a Dexter Lawrence, 19 out of 75 for the Giants, the G Men. Dude, <laughs> look at that autograph. I mean, come on, dude. You got to at least put a little bit of effort into it. D. Dot L. And then I'm guessing maybe he's a. Junior or something. It looks like it's a. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, that's the first autograph. Our patch card is going to be a Michael Thomas, and that one is number two. I'm trying to see here. Is so that 75? Yep, 52 out of 75. Plain black jersey. Nice, nice. All right. Well. To be totally honest with you, this box is pretty much going to come down to uh, whatever this RPA is because that was not too impressive so far. So let's think big here. All right, well, it's a running back for the Cowboys. Is that going to be Tony Pollard? Tony Pollard. And okay, just going to be a one color patch there, number to 75. Five out of 75. Dude had a shot before Zeke came back, so he's going to have to wait his turn again. But not terrible. So, all right. I mean, totally honestly, I I like the 2013 stuff better. Again, it's a, not a good draft class, but, um, you know, less cards in this and 
not too impressive to be totally honest with you. So for the price point, and it's a cheaper product. So, but anyways, at least it gives you guys a look at, at what you're looking at with uh, Panini Black. So that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Um, I'll be back with another video soon. And as always, Cheddar Bob saying, take it cheesy.